tutored thousands of students on the MCAT to excellent scores, scored really well on it myself. Started this MCAT company where we reached tens of thousands of students about MCAT alone. Gone through medical school, matched in plastic surgery, helping students on the MCAT the entire time. And this is still the number one mistake that I see people making on the MCAT and standardized tests in general. Now, it's important to note that what I'm about to tell you is not a silver bullet, it's not a hot take, but it's worth repeating because we get tons of emails from students looking for help that we're happy to help with. And then we have this large Discord community of MCAT students that you know I kind of scroll through sometimes just to see what people are freaking out about. And it's almost comical to me because you're just focusing on the wrong thing. There are a lot of moving parts in a good MCAT prep. But the number one that people slip up on is that you should be counting your practice questions in the thousands, not the hundreds. And so I get asked all the time, you know, what third party questions are good? Should I take UWorld or should I take the AAMC questions? And you know, my knee jerk reaction to that is take them all. Are the third party questions exactly identical to what you'll see in the language you'll see on the real MCAT? No. They're not. And some of the companies are better at writing the questions than others are. But the reality of it is that you're going to learn all these sciences and most students do a pretty decent job at that. Not great in all honesty, but they do a decent job, especially if you're like doing some kind of course, whether it be our course, that's a little bit more streamlined or, you know, one of the big name courses like the Kaplan's, the blueprints, all those they are very thorough. And you know, if you combine it with like the Anki, Anki deck or something like that, you'll probably know enough content. It's just, you don't get enough real life reps to actually be any good. So let me give you an example. You know, I am a plastic surgery resident now. And so what a lot of that looks like and what a lot of your fourth year of medical school looks like too if you're trying to do surgery is you will read all about these surgeries and these operations and how to do them. And you'll have the steps memorized just in case you get asked. But you probably don't want me doing your surgery alone, right? And that's because I haven't had the reps. So reading about the surgery is the same as learning content to me. But practicing the surgery and doing the surgery over and over and over again is just like taking practice questions. Every patient looks different. Every surgery is a little bit different, but it's just like the questions that you take, the practice questions that you take are going to be different from the ones you see on the real exam. It's not about preparing to do the exact same thing always. It's about learning patterns and being able to pick up on common language. And while we teach a ton of strategies that do streamline that, if you're not familiar with me at all, I had to take the MCAT four times before medical school, made a 502 twice, paid for one of those like $6,000 prep courses, made a 509, still got rejected from med school, and then just dedicated my life to figuring out the test. So when I get my 90th percentile score, and I did it by creating these objective principles and strategies which are the ones that I teach on this YouTube channel for free. It's the ones that all of our like double AMC passage breakdown products and everything have baked into them. And they're the ones that are really going to help you if you're like me and you're just like not naturally a good test taker. Um, you have to learn that skill if you're not already good at it. And the best way to learn it is to pick a set strategy. I don't care if it's ours. I think ours are really good, but they're not the only ways to do it. Right. And to practice it. So be realistic with yourself and troubleshoot what you suck at. Most people don't do this but it's really helpful. If you don't know content, learn your content. If you don't have a lot of time, use hours. It's fast, it's streamlined. If you do have a lot of time and you have no like decent educational founding, then maybe use something like Kaplan's that's a lot more thorough. Learn that content and just knock it out. Get it out quickly, use Anki so that you remember it, and then take thousands of practice questions. If I were studying again, I would take all of UWorld at least once, maybe twice. I'd probably take everything the AMC had to offer me. And then if I still weren't good enough at it, then I would go to Altius's practice tests. Their practice tests are good. And if I still needed more than I go to like, I guess, I think exam crackers has some good ones, blueprints, Kaplan's, what, whatever. Just getting more practice reps because you have to develop the ability to take these concrete facts that you learn, these sciences, and apply them to the nuanced situations that are presented to you on the MCAT. Because the truth of the MCAT is that it's not a science test. It's not. The MCAT is a problem solving test written in the language of the sciences. Until you learn the language of the sciences, you can't even take the real test. Our goal is to teach those sciences in a simple, 
quick, streamlined language so that you can actually conceptualize them. Other people do it a little bit more like textbook, academic way. I just don't think that that works quite as well, which is why you know, we felt the need to spend all of our free time in medical school and now in residency making these products, making these videos, because we just felt like y'all were underserved um, and you're our future colleagues, right? So we gotta take care of you. But once you learn the language, then you have to actually get good at the real tests, which involves picking strategies, taking thousands of practice questions. So if, you know, you email me and you say that you've taken, you know, 800 practice questions, my recommendation is gonna be take another 3,000 and then email me back if your score hasn't gone up, right? Now, if you're looking for something that integrates all the content and the practice questions, tells you when to take what, throws in the strategies, we've got plenty of resources for you. Just check out the links in the description. Thanks for watching. Take more questions. I'll see you in the next one.